as the other beater. <laughs> uh, we have Jamie Holland as the starting keeper and we have L Southwell as another starting chaser. That's all 12. Fun fact about Warlock's number six, I believe. Uh, Isla told us earlier that that is number six's first tournament. This Incredible. We love to see new players coming to sport. Glad to hear it. Right. We're about to get underway here. Eamon Harrison, the head referee, is called for brooms down. The calm before the storm. <laughs> Olympians, are you ready? Yeah. Wessex Warlocks, are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Brooms up. Lights out, away we go here. Connor Climo first to the volleyball. Runs to the right, passes off. Oh, it's a shot, and it's a call from Climo. And Olympians into a lead in the first few seconds. 10-0 to Ten the Northern Olympians. Club. No, good positive start. You, you love a goal off Brooms up, don't you, Chloe? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course. It can help uh, helps lift the mood of the team at the start of the game. Yeah, that, that initial early momentum, right? Yeah. Here we go. A deep pass from Holland out to Norman at the back. Just keeps it inbounds. Ball out, Passes ball to out. Southwell, who just about bubbles it back to Holland. Keeper, pass back to the top to Wu, number six. Round O'Gara. Dances round Cyclarusi there. Six, and a beat on oh, Wu, number six. Nice, very clutch play there from James Gratton. That was like the right moment to make the beat. And uh, Warlocks had uh, dodgeball control. They retain it for this uh, the defense as Brennan presses up. B25. From Ogara deep and Wu picks it up on transition now. Wu number six tackled on, by Phipps. But Wu gets back to his feet. And we'll take the reset. Reset you. That's what I think to do. Uh, I, I don't know about you, Chloe, but running into a Hugh Phipps contact is always a challenge. I don't like doing it in training. I wouldn't do it in a match. Beat, and the pass beat off. 11, beat 11. And Holland is beat before beat El Southwell four. running in. A little driving dish from Southwell, but a beat from Zach McDonald denying Warlocks the goal. The score, the score remains 10 0 to Olympians. Sam wants to play. Thinking all this way. Uh, <laughs> Any better, Sam? Yeah, okay. Uh, Olympians down the right. Holland with the intercepts. And now Warlock's running the transition. Sorry, Eagle pass from Holland into Southwell. Wow. Spin. And great defense from Ogara. Oh, but then Southwell picks up once more and scores. Tenacious from both sides there. Yeah. Like, many players would have given up initially Ten um, from Southwell, but Southwell kept fighting for it and got the goal. It's exactly why you never give up. Scoreboard! Ball's on the floor. Scoreboard! Get it. Ten all, please! Yeah, it's oh, that it's little, little bit of niggle, that little edge that some players have over others, and yeah, that made the difference there. 10-10, Ten -ten, we are tied up in these early stages of this match. Ball goes deep to Anton Simpson at the back. There's some contact from behind from number 92 on Warlocks, and we have an advantage for Olympians. Oh, lovely and the intercept from Southwell, we're going to see a yellow card here for 92. The contact from behind. You are allowed to lose the contact from behind, but you can't have any momentum going into the contact. And it's been deemed there that 92 had momentum. Yeah, got to completely stop it before you do that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a rule that it's only been in for about a year now, but players are still getting used to it. I think it's quite difficult to do as well, especially yes. when you're running at somebody. It's so difficult. It's, it's a hard ball, like, and it's also like how the referee sees it as well. Mm. You may feel that you've stopped, but sometimes you haven't, and then vice versa. Um, Peter Millington Hotzer at the back here, the Olympians keeper, um, moving to the back line, which you're allowed to do after a advantage or delay penalty call, Rebound. giving himself plenty of space to attack the back of these Warlock hoops here. Against two dodgeballs though, Nita Myrie presses out and a turnover for Norman who can break. Just Shipley, oh that's a great turnover from Shipley there. Play on, play on. And it's gonna, the, the volleyball Five. wrapped up in the middle Three, there. Six, that was great play from Jess Shipley, the former Sheffield player I believe. Uh, Cyclarusi now play for on. Olympians, tackled by Southwell, wrapped up and it looks like Brendan's going to force yeah, yeah, the turnover, yeah. Thank you. well Niedermeyer-Reed does, and Southwell driving through wow. Route 
one from El Southwell, and it's 2010 to the Warlocks. Great effort by Jess Shipley to stop Southwell. 2010, uh, Warlocks! The favorite thing about Jess is that Jess does not give up. Always in every single tackle, very, like, getting there, no hesitation. Big respect. Hmm. It's those things you love to see as a coach. Yeah. Uh, Mildred Hotzer pass off to Ollie Barker in the game for the first time. Pass away just in time. Mildred Hotzer out to Simpson. Off to Cox. Cox finishes. Wow. And we're tied up once more 2020. Great passing from Olympians there. Every single volleyball player touched the ball before it went in. Like You, you love to see team goals like that. So satisfying that I can't lie. I was smiling. This is a highly away. chaotic game, but we're seeing some great play in amongst it. So nice two at the back here for Warlocks driving in. Passes off to 52 Halcroft. Ball out, ball Passes out. Away. And then Millington Hotzer collects the ball as keeper. As there's some illegal contact from uh, Lizzie Wheeler. The uh, Warlocks beat number 13 on Zach McDonald. McDonald wasn't a fan of that contact, as most people wouldn't be. Uh, we're also, I think, there's an injury on pitch as well, so uh, okay, want to so we'll just please. make sure the players are all right before we continue. Yeah. Uh, do you want to pass that on the seventh one, please? But yeah, it's. I don't think we were talking about before the game question of whether you want to go to Division 1 or whether you want to go to Division 2, but both teams are very much playing for the win here. Yes. Very I much going for that top uh, also Division 1 spot. Yellow card, mm -hmm. Personally, Warlocks 13, high contact. Um, I, I think the team will be happy with either, mm. I would probably say. Happy with uh, either. Ball like, with Olympians keeper. There's some Remote. players on the team who do want to go to Division 1, uh, uh, but no hard feelings if we wait don't for the whistle, please. Yeah. And I think that's a good way to Let's approach one it, pitch, but one whatever morning. happens, you're okay with that. Remote. And then you can go and build for the other games left this season. Yeah. And we get underway once more. Millington okay. Hotzer on the break, got plenty of space here. Phil Sam with the beat. And I think it went through from Cox. We play on, but Barker scores regardless. Yeah, he's asked for it, he's asked for it. And Olympians make the most of the power play there. That was a card from Lizzie Wheeler. And uh, using the power play to their advantage. 30 20 to Olympians. Fletcher now in the back corner. Just take reset the reset. Used. Barker ball right out, in the keeper out. zone. Oh really pushing the boundaries of aggressive defense. Uh, have to sometimes just being a presence like that can really unsettle a team. Oh, of course. If they're out in your face, right outside your keeper zone, it's a bit, it's a bit stressful. Now, Navina Light coming on uh, for Warlocks at keeper. Goes to the shot. Well blocked by Million Hotzer there. And uh, Barker now on the break, looking for his options. Pass to Ogara, but Ogara wasn't aware of it. I think Ogara was going for a pick. And as <laughs> Pox slams Fletcher into a hoop. Um, looks like, yeah, keep ball for Davina Light. Um, unfortunately, there, that really could and should have been a goal for Olympians. Mm. But just that lack of awareness of when the pass was coming in let them down. Yeah. I saw Light playing earlier. It seems to be having a pretty good day. Yeah, and Davina Light used to be a child prodigy uh, <laughs> back at their, their days with Bristol, playing at 16 years old, then went to Manchester and now is playing with Warlocks. Wow. I honestly thought Navina, I thought Navina started at Manchester. I had no idea about the Bristol yeah. history. The, the teenage prodigy. Also played for Malaysia at the 2018 World Cup Ooh, uh, all those years ago. Uh, scary to think that's six years ago now. <laughs> uh, now Connor Climo on at keeper uh, for Olympians. Dances to the right, passes off, slapped down by Warlocks and back in the hands of Light. Uh, interesting to see here we've got Barker and Fire One, the former Chester pair. Uh, got great chemistry, years of playing together. And what I love about Climo as a player, he's, he's a bit of a Swiss army knife. You put him in any <laughs> headband, keeper, chaser, beta seeker, he can do a fantastic job for you. And a big hit from Barker, but he was beat by Phil Sam. Uh, so Warlocks retain the volleyball. Amber Collinson now. Goes for the shot at the back. Climo slaps it away. Nice two picks it up. Pass off to Fletcher. Just wide. And Shipley yeah. drops down on the loose ball. I think if Fletcher was in a bit more better view of the hoop, it might have had more of a chance to go in. Like a bit behind it or a bit Yeah, it's the, the angle there, really. Yeah. 
if they were sort of more in front of the hoop, they would have scored that. And that's a turnover that I think uh, pass after beat from Olympians and quickly recycled. Back to Fletcher, who has the ball for Warlocks. So now Amber Connerton uh, with Vogel. Uh, one of the players has chance. Well, there's a lot of transfers on this team from different different clubs. Connerton was playing with South Sea last season and previously with the Exeter Eagles the season before that. Oh, big hit from Dylan Jones using the reset. Shipley oh, Jeff, comes away. Yeah. Oh, that's, that a, whoa, is, that's oh, a very, very egregious bad. bit of contact from Wu, yes, number six. That is terrible. Shipley was clean through on goal there. It was from and behind, she's round been the net. pulled back illegally by Wu. Oh, wow. So that will be yellow card and a minute in the box for Wu, unless Shipley can score here. I believe in Jess. I think Jess could do Chloe, anything. putting you in the shoes of Jess Shipley here, what do you do? There's two players in front of you. There's three hoops. Depends if Philip Sam's armed. Uh, I think the ball is loose there for Phil loose. Sam. So it's a no dodgeball situation. Oh, wait, I think Lizzie Wheeler's got one. Oh, uh, where's Lizzie? Uh, by there. What do you reckon? Are we driving this in or are we going to pull up for a shot? Uh, drive to the right and release, shoot halfway. Like get yeah. a little bit closer and shoot is what I'd do. Or equally, I don't know, Olympians could decide just to reset the attack here, fully use the power play. Can you come back to the halfway line um, if a foul uh, is Yeah, where the spot you? the foul is, yeah. uh, Shifley can move back to the mid line. There we go. In a sense. If it's behind the keeper's own line, it beats the back line. Mm. Yeah, I think Shipley could drive because Zach is stood yeah. in between Lizzie. Well, it looks like here Hugh Phipps is just giving the instruction of what the team would like to do in this moment. I, 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 I don't know about you, Chloe, but I love these situations in a game where everything freezes and you can plan out exactly what's going to happen next. Yeah, I also love watching them because you sit there in anticipation wondering, like, what yeah. are they going to do? What are they going <laughs> to do, exactly? And yep, We're Shipley's going to move back. back to the midline. Set, it's the sensible choice. You think? It's, it's not the, the fun choice. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, fun, the fun side of me would go, oh, just take the shot, go for the glory, you know? Yeah. Um, but Shipley has the ball on the halfway line. And uh, a this. chance to score here on the power play for Olympians. Deep pass to Hugh Phipps. As Phil Sam comes tearing out, pass in to Jones, who's beat by Wheeler. But Olympians keep the volleyball with Anna O'Gara. Being tackled by Collison. Great tackle from Collison. Yeah, but the tackle. loose ball straight into the Vida Light. And Ooh. a big tackle from Phipps. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's Carnage. And Fletch picks up. And a big tackle from Jones. Whoa, oh, this is a physical game. Phipps is beat. Shipley has it. Loose ball. O'Gara picks it up. And now O'Gara is running against Light. Passes Shipley. Great offload. Oh, wow. Shipley now. Passes to Fantastic. Phipps. Phipps. Fantastic. Scores. Oh, 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 what a passage of play. Great. you got to love that, Chloe. Oh, I do, I do. I'm really proud at the minute. Right. I'm very, very proud. Wayne Quabble is fast, physical, oh, chaotic. No. It's great for the fans. It's great for the commentators as well. It's great for the players. We love it. And now El Southwell. Pass to Norman. Oh, just hits the side of the hoop. Didn't quite pass through. Norman is dangerous in those spots. Absolutely dangerous. Yes, it is great those movement from spots. Norman to get to the spot. Great delivery. Execution not quite there. Score is 40-20 to Olympians. As we have uh, Zach Cox comes back on now. Uh, Connor Climber on at keeper. Loose ball. Oh, South run nearly pick it up, but Climbo takes the space. Good block from Norman. Clymo following in there. Fight Rips it free. Put on oh. El Southwell. This is very much anything you can do, I can do better. Like they're just matching each other, blow for blow. Mm. Incredible. What I like there from Climo, it's like in football. If you take a shot in football, your coach tells you to follow the shot in for a rebound. Yeah. And Climo got blocked, loose ball, followed it in, got the steal, kept the attack alive. Yeah. Uh, so Cyclarusi uh, turning it over the ball there after the shot that went wide from the Warlocks. And I guess a calm offense now. We haven't had many of those, have we, Chloe? No, not so far. <laughs> it's been fast, been frenetic. It's been really entertaining stuff from both teams. As James King Nickel on for the first time this game goes for the napalm. 
deep past the Cox. And that's going to be a turnover for Warlocks. And Brennan on the counter there, creating havoc in the beta game number 90 for the Warlocks and regaining dodgeball control all by himself. The, you, you love to see the confidence from Brennan there on that play. Uh, El Salford now with the body ball for Warlocks. Passes back to Arjun Sharma, who's in the game the first time. Takes a shot. It's gone wide, I believe. And Wu picks up the back for Warlocks. And a, bi oh, a beat from King Nickel. Shouting yes very loudly after making that beat. <laughs> the very pleased with himself. Great to see. Scores 4 to 20 to Olympians. And Cyclarusi driving now. Gets past Southwell, pass it off to Mills and Hotzer. And we have a brooms down for a delayed penalty from Olympians. So I wonder what happened here. I don't know what's going on there. Do you have any clue? It'll be some kind of offensive foul here. Yeah. Potentially in the beta game. I think it might be in the beta game. Something King Nickel's between in James trouble here. Callum. It's a yellow card for King Nickel. Moved into a back tackle. Uh, okay. Uh, a, a contact foul from King Nickel there. And a turnover of the volleyball to the Warlocks keeper, Arjun Sharma, who's is, just going to run this. This is I bad. think run this. This is bad for Olympians. They've, they've got, Arjun's got to be aware of the beat from Milo Toe coming in here, but he's got support from El Southwell as well. Yeah, this is... Arjun runs left. Wow. Long pass, El Salvo with a finish. And the score is 40-30, two Olympians. Uh, great counter-attack from the Warlocks there. There's only so much you can do in that moment. Like, you know, Milo had the, the um, dodgeball, but like, yeah, it's just so much, there's fast moving and there's L there to support. <laughs> And what a fantastic yeah. job of supporting L did with that What goal. I love about watching L Southwell as a receiver is they're like, they're like a bit of a hoover. Like, wherever you put that ball, they will adapt to where it is and make what might not be a bat, might not be the best of passes mm. look like a great pass because they'll finish it regardless. Yeah, we'd love to see players like that. So, yeah, um, time out here. I'm not sure who's called it. Um, I'm guessing Olympians. Um, yeah, Olympians, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, interesting game, isn't it? Very. There's the score now. It's 4-3. Like, with, with these games where there's something tangible on the line, mm -hmm. sometimes they can be a bit cagey. No one wants to make, make a mistake. Mm. And then it becomes a bit of, like, one for the purists where nerds like me will go into the weeds about... I know beta offenses and like certain positions and stuff, certain formations. Yeah. But we've just had a full on, just high energy, high adrenaline game so far. Yeah. Player attitudes towards each other seem pretty calm. Like I know there's been a few far fouls, but everyone seems quite chill. Everyone mm. seems to be quite, um, yeah, quite calm. Yeah, it's, it's been in the past, a bit of the undoing of Olympians in some games, but they've done very well to keep their composure. And uh, they, they ask, Slightly in the ascendancy. We'll see how they do now. A block there. Oh, that's a great finish from Millington Hosser. Blocks the dodgeball, spins around one, and just calmly puts it into the left hand hoop there. It's uh, almost poetic. Poetry in motion from uh, Millington Hosser. You love to see it. So score is 50-30, two Olympians. The game is still in flag runner range. So whoever catches the flag, whichever seeker that is, will win the match for their team. Sharma deep to Wu at the back. Faced up by Ogara into Norman's hands. Norman passes back to Sharma. Sharma running in on oh, the shot to pass goes low, but Wu picks it up and Cyclarusi with uh, big arms, he's, he's a very tall guy, Ashraf Cyclarusi, and uh, comes up with the turnover. 50-30 uh, still to Olympians. Recently informed we were coming up to 13 minutes. 13 minutes of game time. Like 
Almost. Uh, we played. But it, it's, I don't know about you, Chloe, but this is one of those games I don't really want to end right now. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> it's very entertaining to watch. Uh, King sure. Nickel coming in for the napalm. But a clever pass from Niedermeyer Reed back to Phil Sam. Keeping the dodgeball in place. Shifley pass to Cyclarusi. Cyclarusi back to Shifley. The ball goes loose. And Norman with the contact. Just about legal for now. And uh, Norman's beat. And the reset used by Olympians. Smart there. So a lot of teams are very afraid to use their reset. Oh, they don't want to yeah, use it too early in offense. But sometimes it's the right thing to do while you have it. Uh, Millions and Hots are down the right side here for Olympians. As there's a big battle between King Nickel and Niedermeyer Reed in the beta game. And Olivia Norman plucks that pass out of the air, passes back to Arjun Sharma, a little fumble. And Warlock's breaking here with Sharma down the left. Running around Shifley. Deep pass to Wu. Wu fumbles it and Cyclarusi mops it up. So I think there, if you're the Warlock's coaching staff, you want to see Sharma take more of a direct route back himself through the contact there. Um, just probably going for the, the prettier pe play rather than the route one mm. physical play that you sometimes just need on a no dodgeball situation. Yeah, for sure. But Anton Simpson now with the ball for Olympians, uh, walking up slowly, assessing their options. And let's see, dodgeball control is with the Warlocks. Uh, so they've got to be careful here about where they put the ball, how they keep hold of it, about giving their beats time to regain dodgeball control. Simpson to Phipps down the left side now. Passes now to Ollie Barker as Grass is beat out. Uh, there's only one beat in for Olympians currently. But Warlock's quite content just to sit there, absorb the pressure. And a little block there. Southwell regains the volleyball and passes to Sharma. The Warlock's keeper, long bomb from Sharma oh. to Southwell. Dodges round two on a beat missed, I think. Yeah, the beat was missed. Oh, well, we'll find out, won't we? There's a question about, did that go into you? I thought I think, it dragged the side of the yeah, game, it didn't go in. But some questions need no. to be answered. Uh, we'll find out soon enough in this red discussion. Um, I saw a sort of a slashing motion from one of the assistant referees there, so maybe. Oh, oh, good. okay. There yeah, you go. The goal is shoulder, good. It was a question as to so the beat was missed, and South Allen did indeed did put it through the hoop. Yeah. So the score is now 50-40 in favour of Olympians. A goal in it. Oh, See, love I, it. We're I love it. I rely on the little screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just following <laughs> the game through the camera. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see where we're at. Dodgeball control remains with the Warlocks, and it's serving them very well at the moment. They're holding it. I think they're prioritizing control over anything. They're not being too aggressive yeah. with the control. Um, it's just so valuable. Even just having it without even actively doing things with it, it's still threatening. Barker at the back. Pass across to Simpson, oh. and a block from Southwell. The blocking around the hoops from Warlocks has been fantastic the last few minutes. Southwell. Attacking, pass across to Norman. The pass wasn't on the money from Southwell. And a turnover. Just a, a little bit rushed there. And it's okay to go fast like that. But yeah, the execution needs to be there. Olympians need to do something a bit more about Southwell. And it's a break down the other end for Barker. Whoa, and that's a goal. 60 yeah. 40. I think Warlock's just completely switched off for a moment there. No yeah. idea where Barker was down the right side. <laughs> Barker goes, well, if you're not going to defend me, I'm going to score. Yeah. Uh, Jamie Holland now on as the Warlock's keeper walking steadily up the pitch. Uh, dodgeball control back with Olympians now. As Holland goes to the shots, just low by the mid-hoop. Southwell takes the shot. And Phipps now in transition. A <laughs> big... Shove from Phipps, round one, scores. And now there's a question, I think, of the contact from Phipps. You're not allowed to lead with a shoulder into contact like you would do in rugby. That's the, that's the coaching thing in rugby oh, to do. Oh, you know what? That's something important for me yeah. to hang on to. <laughs> as, you, as you have the ball, you have to run upright. Oh. Um, so the goal will be no good from Phipps. Um, 
yeah, you, when you have the ball, you've got to stay upright. And yeah. Phipps, full on, just shoulder charged into Jamie Holland there, which you're not allowed to do, and will go to the box for it. It can be, like, you know, uh, it's difficult. So, ball turned over back to Holland. Uh, we're about to have our seekers enter the field. Oh, God, it's time already. Uh, it's so nerve wracking. Can't see the score currently. 60 40, I believe. Uh, 60-50. But yeah, it's, it's in range. It's in range. Uh, anyone's game. And it's going to be an interesting encounter in the flag runner game. 60-40 uh, oh, is the score for Olympians, to confirm that. Uh, we will have Connor Climo in the yellow headband for Olympians. And we'll have Wu, number six, for Warlocks. Now, as I said about Climo earlier, Swiss Army knife of a player. Um, a phenomenal seeker, uh, yeah. a great option for the Olympians here. We'll be going, those two will be going up against Michal Kraft. I don't know what we were off as a seeker, uh, a bit of an unknown quantity there. Um, but yeah, we shall see. Uh, meanwhile, in the volleyball game, Barker running in as the keeper and tries to dunk. That's great defence from 92. Blocking oh. that hoop, denying Ollie Barker. I think Barker's just checking to see if uh, they're okay. It's, it's good sport, sportsmanship. We like to see yeah. it. Um, that's nah. really good defence. Gemma Wollescroft for Olympians did a very quick chuck back of a dodgeball then, which did manage to win them control in a very tight situation with Callum Brennan absolutely gunning back <laughs> to maintain control for Warlocks. Mm. Exactly, that, that's vital right now. Like, yeah, definitely. The, the Seekers are about to enter, enter play. The top teams, the, the best team in the world, it, it's, it's the most obvious thing to do, is to prioritise control now over scoring a goal or conceding a goal. Yeah. Like When the game is this tight, one goal here and there is not going to make much difference. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see how well the Olympians lock down dodgeball control now. And, well, whether Warlocks can regain it. So we're just, we're, I think we're just going to look at the dodgeball game for now because that's, that's where this game's really important. Yeah. It's uh, Brennan and Wheeler up against Toe and Freeman for Olympians. But also, there's a shot from <laughs> Warlocks. They take the goal 60 50. Wow. As the shadows get long here, the light is fading as uh, our last game of the day. Uh, Navina Light <laughs> takes the beat, and probably illegally. Um, power play advantage for Olympians right now. Is that the calling advantage? It looks like yeah, I think Light has just. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, they're going to call it now. So their Light has swatted the dodgeball illegally. Ah. I mean, that's, that's going to be the foul that is called on uh, the. Warlock's chaser. As a, as a chaser, you're not really supposed to interact with the dodge. Well, you can try and dodge out of the way of it, but you can't sort of move into the path that you can't redirect it with your body because um, you are not a beater. No. So a lot, of, a lot of chasers try to dodge vertically a little bit with their body, don't they, to see if the dodgeball will hit part yeah. of them and naturally bounce off, but you can't just... Yeah, all right. But, all, all coaches out there, like if you are a point chaser, you are trying to sort of move your feet to avoid it rather than move with your upper body. It's Shipley again in front of the hoops. So it's Shipley, deja vu. take the shot, I think. Yeah, that, that, that's the option oh, I'm oh, taking. No, drive, drive. Lizzie, you can't do anything. Oh, oh! no good. Callum Brennan so with the dodgeball block from the shot. So that's incredible play. As another big Hugh Phipps tackle comes yeah. in on Jamie Holland, Holland offloads and Barker sweeps it up. That, isn't it? Dicey and another big oh. hit from the Southwell. Wow. And Barker passes to Phipps. Phipps scores. Wow. Oh, so much contact. That is insane. That was so much. All uh, I don't know. We've we seen like 10, 11 successful contacts. Like yeah. it's a short game. And we've seen so much physicality this match. I loved it. Yeah. I... Yeah. So the Seekers are about to enter play. Our flag runner, 
is on now. So we're going to see what our flag on pitch strategy is uh, between the two teams. Uh, Olympians just holding their dodgeballs in the volleyball game. Wheeler is very much on the flag runner right now, getting ready for the Seekers to come in. Olympians break, just as the Seekers come in. And Wu has the first go. It's a great beat from Toe as Clyro, his first opportunity on the flag runner. And we have a brooms down stoppage uh, in the volleyball game. Uh, here we go, just, just a fun fact here now. We have Michal Kraft as the flag runner, who was also the flag runner for the British Cup final uh, last season. So it's pedigree as a flag runner, a great choice for this match. Uh, fairly large human being. Um, <laughs> Tall. Should hopefully serve him well in terms of keeping a fair game. And Climo now coming in. A beat from McDonald, clearing the path for Climo. No, <laughs> nearly reached round. And Wu is beat out. The Olympians beaters are locking this down here. Wu's had maybe a couple of goes. Maybe just one go on Kraft so far. As Climo goes on left hand, just misses the sock. Oh, and low again. I'm liking this technique from Climo. And Climo is beat. And now Wu has a go. Wu has a go, low! Oh, it's getting really close in this flag runner game as Millington Holzer comes in to score another goal for Olympians. The score is 80-50 now, I believe. So, if, uh, if Warlock's catch, it will go to overtime. But Sai Clarusi now on as a seeker, aiming to not let that happen. The Warlocks need to get back into the volleyball game now. But Cyclerusi on. Here he goes. Working on Kraft. Kraft dispatches him very well there. And a low dive as Cyclerusi's beat. And a good beat from McDonald. McDonald and Turb being fantastic during this flag on pitch play. I think Wu had maybe two attacks on Kraft and that's it. But just deliberating now in terms of the final call between the referee team here. It's, uh, it's gone very tense all of a sudden as we uh, wait for this final verdict. Look happy, you know. I think this might be good. There we go. Yeah. And it's confirmed. The catch is good for Olympians Quad Ball Club. The final score is 120 star 50 to them uh, versus the Wessex Warlocks. Chloe, thoughts? What a fantastic game. What a fantastic Honestly, game. Honestly, what a fantastic game. So much action. So much action. And so many different things done by both teams that are just so interesting. I loved how Warlocks handled the volleyball. I loved 
like the distribution that you saw like especially from Arjun as well like really long hard accurate distributions down uh, to the other end and they were like they were so fruitful as well like they like yeah <laughs> they took risks they tried different things and they just mm. it just looked like a really good time yeah. it looked like a really good time I think and Olympians, I hope Warlocks are happy with themselves yeah. to be honest I think Warlocks will be pleased with that maybe a few things to work on in terms of varying their offensive approach but Olympians good value for the win um, what I liked there was the variety of which they played. They had a few good team goals. They passed it around. Um, they had a few Route 1 player drives in the scores. Yeah. Um, and the main thing, I think, psychologically, they were calm throughout the whole game. It was really fast and physical and frenetic. Yeah. But at no point did I see a player get really upset and angry and lose their head. No, no. And I hate it when people do that. I hate it when you see that happen because it just, it's yeah. just never good. It's never like, good. Quad as much as a physical game, is also a mental game. Yeah. And Olympians played that very well in that match. Um, and ultimately, I think that they would have gone into this game knowing we are the experienced team. We played in Europe before. We played together for longer. We yeah. should win this. Yeah. And like, I think they had that sort of confidence that eventually over the course of the game, we would take it. And that proved to be the case in the end. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall, really fantastic match. So yeah. many like fantastic bits of physical contact. Yeah. Frenetic play in the beat game and in the chase from keeper game. Uh, really fun to watch. I hope you on people watching the live stream enjoyed it as well just as much as we have uh yeah like a nice way to round out a successful weekend of quad ball yeah definitely yeah <laughs>